Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Variant 6, Chapter 1, Quest Number 2. And you can see the team that I've gone in with. If you watched my previous Variant video, you'll see some changes. Um, I've brought Mr. Fantastic on there. We'll talk about why. Venom is on the team, and you're going to definitely see why I brought Venom. And of course, we also have Dr. Doom. Now, the globals are the same. You still do not want to bring in a non-villain champion, except for synergies, like Mr. Fantastic. I also have a Wasp in there who is not a villain. But take a look at these nodes. The one to pay attention to is Madness. That is the big budget item right there. That node alone makes this quest so much fun all right and you're gonna see why all right so first in is venom now venom does a armor break on his heavy attack as you just saw and look at this he's not gaining any power and of course he's not going to be able to evade because venom shuts down the evades and look at look at what venom is doing here he's in the corner Look at this. And look at the damage that Venom is able to do. And that is the basic strategy. If you have a champion who's a villain who can put an armor break on their heavy, you can do this corner heavy spam. Now I ran and uh, did the uh, special three just because I like seeing Venom special three. I could have finished uh, Spider-Man off with just the heavies. But I wanted to break it up a little bit and show that uh, that ending special three. All right, so next up, we've got Hulkbuster. Now, Hulkbuster has recently been reworked. And he'll put a shock debuff on you. So I'm going in with Doom. Doom is immune to shock. Now, here's something else. Do you see that armor break? that Doom placed on Hulkbuster on his heavy, that is only uh, available and it's only possible with the Mr. Fantastic Synergy. Uh, I was watching uh, Brian Grant and uh, Kabam John was on the line and he mentioned that Synergy. And I was like, oh, really? And so that is why Mr. Fantastic is on there. Now I want you to watch something that happens to Doom. Uh, he will, if you just keep spamming his heavy, he'll keep creeping backwards sometimes. So you have to be careful about that. Uh, if he creeps a little bit further away, you might want to wait a second or just reset. Just dash back, do your parry, get him back into the corner, and then resume your heavy spam. If you don't, you're going to miss the heavy. And if the AI is really aggressive, it'll punish you. Now, I've done this and I've missed the heavy a few times and the AI didn't punish me. But that's not something that I would rely on. So you see I'm going in with Doom again. And all I'm doing here is trying to push him all the way back into the corner. And then, boom. Now I got him with the heavy spam. Now I want you to just keep watching how Doom's position after his heavy is. Look at that. Okay, now I waited a little bit. Like, look at that, see? He missed, but the AI didn't punish me. So I waited a little bit because if the AI is aggressive, it'll charge you a little bit and you can still hit him with a heavy, but it's dangerous. So we got lucky there and the AI didn't punish us for that missed heavy. But that's something you want to bear in mind. I didn't have that problem with Venom. But I did have that problem with Doom. So what you've seen so far is the basic strategy. Now, look at this. Do you see why I sometimes complain? That was lag. That was not the video that you were watching. I had clicked on the next tile and it just sat there and did nothing for a little while. Um, and, and I love this variant, but the lag and the dropped inputs kind of decreased my enjoyment of it just a little bit. It's still a very, very fun variant, 
but the frustrations that I felt had to do with the dropped inputs and the lag. All right, so look at here. Now, sometimes if you watch, okay, and you'll be able to tell, ooh, and see, I missed that one. Uh, you'll be able to tell when it's a dropped input because I just stand there, okay? You see what I wanna do, just heavies. So if at any time you see a heavy doesn't fire and I'm just standing there, that's why it dropped my input because all I'm doing here is heavy, 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 that's it, okay? I'm not sure how I missed that other one, but you see here, we're, we got him in the corner and we're just ripping him up, okay? Um, I have to look back and see, you know, my distance was probably just a little bit too far when I tried it. He wasn't all the way in the corner. Uh, and so that can happen. So you have to be careful about that. So I got smacked up a little bit and woke up. So our next opponent is Killmonger. Now, Killmonger, uh, if you can armor break him, especially a Killmonger that is awakened, you want to armor break him as soon as possible. Now, in this case, he got a bar of power very quickly. I couldn't stop it, but now that I've got him armor broken, he's uh, not gonna gain any more power. But I gotta get him in that corner, all right? And I want the armor break, not just for the power reduction, but to shut down his reverberation. Okay, so here we go. He's almost in the corner. And then, boom. Okay, now I got him in the corner. But it stopped. You'll notice, it just stopped. Okay, so now I'm doing it again. And this is what I wanted to do before. Okay, so I wanted to fire off this special three. And I just recently got Doom. Doom is not suicide friendly, okay? But I wanted to practice a little bit with the dooms of uh, rotation. So medium, 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 boom, 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 light attacks. And then I was like, okay, that's right. He wasn't at, you know, enough power because that particular rotation works when they have like at least two bars of power, you do your special three, but I've shut him down. And see, look at that. You saw how I missed the uh, heavy again. It was too far away. Okay, but we're doing okay here. And uh, at this point, I could have fired the special three to finish him off, but I decided not to. Now, uh, Venom is also a good option for this um, Killmonger. Anybody that can armor break, especially on their heavy attacks, is gonna be great for Killmonger and very good for this particular chapter, uh, quest rather. So now uh, we're facing Angela, who is a very easy opponent to face here. Nothing special. You do not have to use this uh, method, by the way. Uh, if you have Ghost, and if you watched my last video, you saw how I just sweeped everything with Ghost, but it's not necessary. Ghost could do this path as well. It would be a little bit more um, challenging because they'd be gaining a lot of uh, power, but she can handle that, no problem. Uh, but this method I found to be the easiest and it made that path that I chose very, very, very easy. Okay, so if you have Doom, and by the way, you do not need a rank five Doom. You do not need a rank five Venom. My Venom is rank four, you can do this with even a three star. You might have to be a little bit more careful, you know? All right, so we're at the boss and you can tell he's got that madness uh, on him. And yes, he has unblockable finale, which I hate. He also has dash vulnerability, okay? Now, Ghost can do this fight, but I brought in Venom. And if you guys have watched, you already know why. I brought in Venom. So first thing I need to do is get him over there. Now, something else to note, because uh, Venom has an armor up, any villain that has an armor up, they also do a power burn. That's why you see power burn on there as well as the armor break. 
The armor break prevents them from gaining power, but that power burn drains their power. So Venom, who randomly will get an armor up, is great for shutting them down. And just look at this. There's no need for anything. No strategy. Just keep firing off those heavies. And that's it. That is the path. Very easy variant so far and uh, quite an enjoyable variant. All right, but that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully this video helps you out. Uh, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.